There you go. Lou, I hear your exhales already. <laughs> your good exhales. <laughs> uh, what about you, Carol? Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers? Tom Brady. Yeah, that's most people's choice. But I do like Patrick Mahomes' hair. Like the curls on that boy. Him and what's that? It's not an insurance commercial, but it's a shampoo commercial. Him and Troy Pal Palomalo. Pal yeah. Ah, they both have beautiful hair. I'm like, I gotta go out and buy that shampoo. Mar marketing at its finest. Okay, here we go. Happy Monday. Good morning. Good morning, all. We got a full house on a Monday. Looks pretty good in here. Glad to have you all here. Stay warm today and tomorrow. We're supposed to maybe get a little snow tomorrow. Maybe it's January still, who knows? <laughs> all right, guys. So for all of you joining us virtually, thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll, uh, we'll get right into the quote today. So it says, we fall, we break, we fail, but then we rise, we heal, we overcome. I'll read it again. We fall, we break, we fail, but then we rise, we heal, we overcome. That wave, right? We're riding the wave. There's the ups and then the downs, but then the ups again, right? So we're not all gonna just skate through life easy peasy. You guys know that all too well, but you guys also know what it takes to overcome, to rise, right? To heal, very much so, very much in the literal sense. You guys have all done that here. So you are walking, talking, living proof of this quote. And I like this one, I really do. You know, we're, we're not perfect. Humans are far from perfect. We stumble, we have our failures, we have our challenges but we also have our strengths, we have our determination, we have our stubbornness, even if you'll call it that, <laughs> and that's okay. So we will, we will continue to do our part as we always do in the morning and in the afternoon, uh, but we will continue to rise. We'll keep working on healing, and we'll continue to overcome. And we do that here in the morning with our gentle stretches, followed by our mindfulness, continue our routine, and we'll just, we'll have a wonderful Monday. How does that sound? I invite you to have a wonderful Monday. That's my invitation to you guys at home. I invite you to join us along. Let's get to our starting position and let's get going. I was telling Lou, I got back on my snowboard this weekend. <laughs> These stretches are coming at a good time, and I might be moving a little slower than usual, so just bear with me. But let's come to our starting position. Yeah, it is a workout, that's for sure. Feet flat, knees bent, hips heavy, rooting down into the seat beneath you. Sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders down. You're ready, girl, aren't you? <laughs> Relax the shoulders, and then we will start as we always do with three deep breaths. I invite you to close the eyes here as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in, and a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. Open those eyes. Come on back into the space that you're in, and let us begin. All right, as always, we start with our legs, lower extremities. Go ahead, and bring them straight out in front of you as best as you can. And then we'll start by pointing and flexing the feet. All right, so getting some motion here at the ankles, taking the toes away from the body and neck towards, away and towards. Good. 
Just getting that energy stirring, get the blood flowing. And as always, keep in mind, if you're unable to use physical motion in the body, I invite you to close the eyes and see if you can watch as the body moves energetically. All right, so it's the power of visualization, pairing that intention with the action. And then of course, keep that breath moving. Nice job, you guys. Feels so good in my calves this morning. <laughs> Forgot how tight my legs can get. <laughs> All right, keep those legs nice and long, but we're gonna rest our heels down on the ground. Flex your feet back in towards the body. Lengthen through the spine, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, gently reach in the direction of your toes. Good, and then maybe your hands end up at your feet. Maybe you're right about your shins. Maybe they're at the knees. Just listening to your body, knowing what's best for you in this moment, and then breathing into that. All right, releasing the tension, noticing what sensations are coming up in your legs, feeling the backside calves, hamstrings, and then just continue to move the breath. Easing into the posture, breathing into sensation. Good, when you're ready, take another inhale here, and exhale, slowly, slowly, turn up. Nice job, Janet. Can you see me, Janet? Are you good? Okay, perfect. All right, bring your feet back to the floor, put a bend in the knees, return to that midline position, and let's take a breath through instead. In through the nose, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good. All right, we will get into our hip adductors, so our inner thighs, taking the knees and drawing them in opposite directions here. Right, so just opening up the muscles of the inner thighs, Gently pulling the knees away from one another. Now you can use the muscles of the hips and legs to actively pull the knees apart. Or if available, you can use a hand, maybe your forearm, to add a little extra push here, right? Actively assisting here with your hand. And then just coming back to the breath. Release the shoulders. Relax any extra tension, any folding, and continue to breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, take another breath in here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly draw those knees back together. Good. Return to midline. And let's take a breath to reset. In through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. You guys cause some trouble over there? <laughs> All right. Let's get into the back side of our hips here. Glutes, rotators, piriformis. Come back to that starting position. Sit up nice and tall. Lengthen the spine as you breathe in. And then we'll bring our right leg up into the chest here. Gently squeezing it into the torso. Good. Starting to breathe into the back side of that hip, right? You can stay here in this position or bring this leg over the opposite arm. And then just notice. Notice what sensations coming up. Notice what you feel in your body. Maybe notice what you don't feel, right? Maybe there's a lack of sensation. That's okay too. No right or wrong here, just giving yourself the time and space. Take another deep breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly release, let it go. Nice job, you guys. Switching sides once more. We'll sit up tall, lengthen the spine, breathe in. And then switch sides, bring that left leg up into your body. Again, giving it a gentle squeeze into your torso. You can breathe into the left side of the hip this time. Now staying here or bring this leg over the opposite one. 
Again, just changing the pull of the muscle. Noticing what comes up in the body. And continuing to breathe. Softly in. Softly out. Go ahead, release any extra tension, any extra holding. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly release. Let that leg go. Ah. Nice job, you guys. We'll take our breath here to reset in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Wonderful. All right, that's the leg. So we're going to get into our trunk now. Feet are flat. Hips are heavy, sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine, breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently twist over to the right. Good, now you can bring your hands to a position of your choice. Maybe the leg, maybe the chair. And then continue to breathe. Inhale, sit up tall, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gently deepen the twist. Maybe bring the gaze over the right shoulder. And then continue to breathe. Softly in. Softly out. Good. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And exhale slowly, slowly come on back towards center. Good. We'll switch sides once more. Sit up tall. Inhale. And as you exhale, gently twist over to the left. Again, bringing the hands to a place of your choice, wherever it's comfortable, wherever you can create a little leverage. And then continue to breathe. Sit up tall, create space as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently move into the space created. Maybe deepening the twist. Maybe bringing the gaze over the left shoulder. Easing into the stretch. Breathing into sensation. Good. Take another inhale here. And exhale slowly, slowly, slowly. Come on back towards center. <sighs> Good. Good. Post weekend detox. Bring it all out. Let's take a breath to reset. In through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Nice job, you guys. All right, legs are exactly where they're at. We're just going to start to round forward, bringing our hands down towards our feet. Maybe they reach the floor. And then just start to breathe into your low back. Allowing the muscles of the lumbar spine to slowly stretch open. Relaxing into the stretch. Now, if it feels okay, you can release the weight of your head down towards the floor. If there's any restriction of the breath or any compression in the chest, though, just back off a little bit. Finding a spot that works best for you where you can open up the back side of the body while continuing to move the breath. Nice job, you guys. Whenever you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly roll back on up towards seated. Good. Give yourself a minute here. Let the body come back in line. Let your blood pressure settle. Take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. Nice job, you guys. Open those eyes if they're closed. And then we'll get into the front of our body now. Right, so back to that starting position. Hips and legs are heavy. Lengthen through the spine, breathe in. And then we'll start to pull our shoulder blades together. Right, so opening up across the front of our body. Maybe bringing those elbow points towards one another. So, yeah, just open up across your chest there, Kayla. Nice job. Good. Now, we always have a couple options here. You can take your spine up and over the chair, further expanding through the front body. 
Maybe the arms come to either side, letting the collarbone broaden, expanding through the pecs. And maybe gently bring the gaze up towards the ceiling, opening up the neck and throat here. And then continuing to breathe. Feeling the abdomen expand, stretching open. <sighs> nice job, you guys. Continue breathing into the entire front of your body with every inhale. Allowing everything to soften on the exhale. Good, when you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back up to our seated. Nice job, you guys. Return to center. Let's take that breath to reset in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice. All right, all done with the trunk. Let's move into our arms, our upper extremities. So we'll start with flexion here at the shoulder. We always have hand grab options, fingers in between if you're able. Come over each other if that's a better option. You can use one hand to assist the other, or you can do all of this with just one arm. So wherever you're at, find that starting position. Take the hand grip of your choice, and as you breathe in, gently lift those arms up and away from the body. Good. Try to keep that elbow nice and straight. And then just find the place that feels good in your body. Maybe your hands are over your head, right? If they are, relax the shoulders. Make sure there's no pain. But also, if you need to back up, that's okay too. Maybe your hands are at shoulder height. You're just up off the lap. Good. Keep the breath moving. Try and reach out a little further, Janet. There you go. Nice job. Listening to your body, you can either back off at any point, feel free, and then use the breath if you need to reach a little higher, push yourself a little further. Good. Wherever you're at, take another inhale here. And then as you exhale, slowly, slowly, slowly lower those arms down. Nice job, you guys. Let your shoulders be heavy and let's take a breath to reset. In through the nose. Open oh, mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job. All right, let's get into our shoulder blades. So scapular glides. You guys here can place your hands on the tables in front of you. For you folks at home, I'm going to turn to the side and just show you what this looks like. So a couple options here. If you have a flat surface, maybe a table or a couch, a countertop, or an assistive device, right? Just something to place your arms along for support. If you don't have that, you can always pretend and just draw your arms away from the torso. Wherever you're at, continue to move those arms up and away from the body. And what we're doing here is just getting a little bit of motion in the shoulder blade. Here. So we're going to 
now once more, come back to that starting position. Sit up nice and tall, try to create length in the spine here. Breathe in. And then we'll bring our right shoulder up and across the body. The right arm. Good. Now we always have a couple options. One, reaching that hand away from you. Two, you can bring your hand to the opposite shoulder for a little support. And then three, if available, using that free hand to gently draw the arm across your body. As always, come back to the breath. Try to relax your shoulders down too, right? If they're up here, then you're just getting a little crunching in the neck and you're kind of defeating the purpose. So relax the shoulders, gently do some breath stretch. Good. Wherever you're at, take another inhale here. And exhale, slowly let it go. Nice job, you guys. All right, switching sides. Inhale, sit up tall. And then we'll bring our left arm up and across. Good. Again, same options. One, reaching that hand away. Two, hand comes to the other shoulder. And then three, if available, using that free hand to pull the arm across the torso. All right. Just giving a nice gentle hug in towards the body. Listening to sensation. Right? If there's any pain, back off. If you're able to, though, use the breath to deepen the stretch gently. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly release. Let that arm go. <sighs> breath to reset. In through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Miles ready, I can tell some shoulder rolls are coming. <laughs> Draw those shoulders up to the ears and back down. Up to the ears and back down. Good, nice job, Tanner. Yep, just adding that rotation all through the shoulder girdle, making sure to go both directions, just feeling the mobility. Easy, free of any crunching. Yeah, do what feels good. Okay, John, yeah, get into it. Not a girl. <laughs> Maybe go side to side. Just let this one feel however it needs to in your body. <sighs> nice job, you guys. Oh, when you're ready, come on back to the starting position. Feet flat. Knees bent, hips heavy, lengthen that spine, sit up nice and tall as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. Good. And Janet, let your gaze look forward. So look into the hallway. Good. Thanks, Jamie. And then just drop the weight of the head over. Let both shoulders be heavy. Maybe close the eyes if that feels okay. And then just continue to breathe. Breathing into the left side of the neck. Allowing the tissues to soften. Watching as the muscle melts around the bone. Just continuing to Ease into the stretch, relaxing a little more with every side motion. When you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly come on back to the center. Good. Switch sides. So once more, sit up tall, lengthen the spine, breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Good. Once again, letting shoulders, head, everything be heavy. Let the eyelids be heavy, maybe closing the eyes. And then continue breathing. To the right.
right side of the neck this time. Again, watching, feeling as the tissues soften. Muscles slowly stretching away from one another. And just continuing to move the breath. Smooth and steady. Softly in. Softly out. to travel through all corners of the cervical spine. Breathing into sensation, easing into the stretch. Making sure to switch directions. Reversing the rotation. Evening out the stretch. Allowing yourself to feel, observe, just breathe into this moment. When you're ready, you feel balanced, go ahead, bring that head back in line with the spine. Once more, we'll return to our starting position. Hips and legs are heavy. Spine is long, shoulders relaxed, and we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. I invite you once again to close the eyes here as you inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in, and a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, softly, slowly, blink those eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. And that ends our stretches for today. Nice job, you guys. Nice job, Miss Janet. I think that's the first day you've been back here for this. Um, all right. For those of you at home, thanks for joining. We are going to get set up for mindfulness, so hold tight. We'll be with you in a second. You missed us, didn't you? I said, you missed us, didn't you, <laughs> last week? <laughs> I can tell you're into it today. All right, guys. Go ahead, find yourselves a nice, comfortable position. I'm going to drink a little tea. <sighs> okay. Let's get set up here. Yeah. All right. How are we doing? Steffi's ready. Carol's ready. <laughs> Lou and Tina look ready. You can stay here and do mindfulness, Janet, or feel free to go outside and walk around if you want, okay? Out in the hallway. All right, you guys. So this week, we are going to get back to our body scan, right? So this is an opportunity for us to get out of our heads and get into our bodies. 
right? And really, that's the goal of most mindfulness practices, is to tune in to what's happening in our physical body in this moment. And this one allows us to work our way through the body in a systematic way. So as always, I will guide you guys through this. We'll start down at our feet and we'll work our way up to our head. And the invitation is to just tune your attention, tune your focus into the body part that we're on, right? And we know, we know our, our mental power, right? Our brains, our brains can keep us up here, right? There's a whole lot of mental chatter that goes on sometimes. Worries, concerns. Sometimes it's excitement and positivity. That's okay too. But if we get stuck up here too much, we forget about what's going on down here. So this practice is simply an invitation for that, to tune in to your physical body in this moment. We will hear one bell that'll indicate that our time has started. And then when we're done with the practice, I will guide you guys out, okay? So wherever you're at, take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Good, just start to let the body relax. Let the mind be easy. So once again, I invite you for the next several minutes to tune in. Tune in to this time, this space, this moment. Allow yourself to let go of any external distractions, outside interruptions. And try to focus on you, your body, how you feel in this present moment. If you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Close your eyes and start to bring your gaze inward. Giving yourself permission to shut out the distractions around you. And focus on what's going on inside of you. With your eyes closed, see if you can see yourself. Visualizing you as you are, from head to toe, front to back, side to side, and inside to out. Using the power of the mind's eye, let yourself imagine, picture everything that you are 
both physical and energetic bodies, many parts, but all connected. Seeing into your whole body, feeling into your whole body, sensing your entire being. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Continuing to keep your eyes closed. When you're ready, start to bring all of your attention down into your feet. What do you feel? Can you sense your feet? From the tips of the toes to the back of the heel, the sole of the foot all the way up to the top. Can you feel the pressure of your socks and your shoes? Can you sense inside the foot? Is there a difference from left to right? Just noticing, feeling, acknowledging your feet. When you're ready, take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Next, draw your awareness up out of your feet, coming into the lower half of your leg. Feeling the space from your ankle up to your knee. Noticing your shin bones and the back of your calves. Feeling everything from deep inside, the bones, the tissues, the ligaments. On top of that, the muscles, and on top of that, the skin. What can you feel externally on your legs? And what can you sense deep from within? Allowing your awareness to wrap around the entirety of the lower half of your leg. And just notice. Just feel. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Continuing to move up the leg, drawing your awareness into your thighs, just above the knees, all the way to the hips, feeling your quadriceps on the front and your hamstrings on the back, sensing both inside and outside. Maybe you feel the weight of your hands as they rest on your lap, or the pressure of the chair as it pushes up into your thighs. What do you notice? What do you feel? What can you sense? Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out.
When you're ready, draw your awareness up out of your legs and into your hips, into your pelvis. Really in the base of your sits bones, all the way up to the top of your hip points. Sensing just below and behind the belly button. Feeling the base of the pelvic floor. Feeling into one hip and then the other. Can you feel the chair beneath you pushing up? Or maybe the sensation of your pants and your waistband as it wraps around your hips. Can you feel deep into your hip sockets, sensing the bone, the ligaments, the tendons, and in the front and the back of the pelvic bowl? What do you notice? What can you sense? Allowing your awareness to wrap all the way around it, inside and out. Take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. When you're ready, move your awareness up out of the lower half of your body, come into your torso, sensing everything just above the hips. Feeling into the low belly, the low back, sensing your spine deep within the lumbar. Maybe feeling your shirt as it wraps around your waist. Perhaps noticing the internal sensations of your digestive system and all your other organs. Feeling from the tops of the hips to just beneath the rib cage. Feeling from your belly button to your spine. What do you notice? What can you feel? What sensations are there? Soft breath in, then a soft breath out. Moving up the torso, coming into your chest, feeling deep inside the rib cage, sensing from the front of your body all the way to your back. Maybe you notice the rhythm of the heart as it sits deep within the chest. Maybe you can sense the fabric on your skin as your shirt rests gently on your body. Can you notice the rise and fall of your rib cage as the breath comes in? And as the breath goes out, what do you notice? From the base of your rib cage to the base of your neck. From the front of your sternum to the back of your shoulder blades. Sensing everything in between. Soft breath in and a soft breath out. As 
you're ready, draw your awareness up out of the torso, coming down into the arms, traveling all the way into your fingertips and your hands, noticing both left and right, inside and out. Can you feel the palm of your hand in the back? Can you sense the temperature of the air on your skin? Or the touch of your lap as your hands rest down. Maybe you notice a lack of sensation in one side versus the other. No right or wrong. Simply just notice. Feel. Sense. A soft breath in and a soft breath out. As you're ready, draw your awareness up out of your hands, coming into your forearms, feeling from the wrists to the elbows and everything in between. Sensing the skin and the muscles down to the bone, from inside to out and outside to in. What do you feel? What do you notice? What's coming up in your body, in your form? Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Try new awareness up the arms, coming into your upper arm bone, from the elbow to the shoulder. Sensing your bicep and your tricep. Feeling the muscles of the delts and everything from elbow to shoulder. What can you feel? What can you notice? Can you sense the weight of the bone as it hangs from the shoulder joint? Can you feel the touch of the fabric as your shirt rests on your skin? Is there a difference front to back or top to bottom? Just notice. Let yourself be aware. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. you're ready, draw your awareness up out of your arms, coming back into midline, sensing the top of your shoulders, the base of your neck, all the way up the cervical spine to the bottom of the head. Feeling the front of the throat and the back of the neck. Sensing deep inside your throat, maybe noticing the sensation of breath or swallowing. Feeling everything from the top of the back to the base of the head. Letting your awareness wrap around the entirety of your neck. And just feel. Just notice. Take a soft breath in, and a soft breath out.
As you're ready, draw the awareness up out of your neck and into your skull. Starting at the base of the head, feeling the back at the occiput, wrapping the awareness up through the hairline and then down covering the face, sensing your forehead and your eyebrows, feeling into your eye sockets and your nose, your cheeks, sensing your mouth, tongue, teeth, lips, back to the ears, letting the awareness wrap around the entire circumference of your head, both inside and out, sensing the neural activity of the brain deep within, and just feeling the entirety of your head as it sits in space, resting on the strength of the neck beneath it. Notice, feel. Take a soft breath in, then a soft breath out. If you wish, allow your awareness to run back down the entirety of your being, starting at the head, wrapping around your skull, down your neck, over your shoulders, into your arms, out your hands and fingers, sensing your chest, your low belly, your low back, into your hips and your pelvis, down the legs, past the knees, cross the ankles, into the feet and toes. and just feeling, sensing your whole being from the very bottom of your feet to the very top of your head, sensing both inside and out, feeling physical and energetic sensations. Allowing yourself to notice you as you are, one complete being. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. If you wish to stay here, breathing, tuning into your being, by all means, please do so. Otherwise, as you're ready, when you're ready, slowly start to blink the eyes back open. Allow yourself to come back into this space, back into your body. Be creating a little movement, wiggle the fingers. Wheel the toes, deepen the breath. If you dozed off, start to wake up again. As always, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. We love being able to connect with all of you out there, for you guys here, physically, in person, thank you. <laughs> love having your presence, your participation. <sighs> we will be back this afternoon, one o'clock, 
Jamie and Alex with our rehabilitative strengthening. And I will be back tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock with another session of mindfulness. Either way, we, uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful day. We hope to see you at one of those videos. But if not, uh, continue to stay safe, stay healthy, stay warm tonight and tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. So as always, continue to take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thanks so much.